Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on an affordable makeup starter kit, which would be perfect for mature skin. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before I get into the video, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for returning. If you're new here, I am Bridget. On this channel, I do skincare, makeup, with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. And so if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. All right, so let's get into talking about this starter kit. Now, I feel as though it would be perfect for mature skin and all of you oldie but goodies, you all already know what I'm going to say. And I'm gonna talk ingredients. A lot of these products that I have that are really affordable have some skin loving ingredients and I just want to challenge all of you all out there that have not purchased any type of makeup and you are literally looking for a starter kit that's perfect for mature skin. I challenge you to when you're out there in the stores turn the bottle over or the powder or whatever it is. Get out your readers if you need readers like me and and actually see what's in the products. If you're like me and you like to kind of research products before you purchase them, go online and actually look and see what the ingredients are. And I'll just let you know of a little pet peeve of mine. When I go uh, and I'm interested in a product and I want to see what's actually in it, a red flag goes up when I don't see the ingredients listed. And I'm like, okay, why are you not putting the ingredients like what is it that you don't want me to see and I absolutely hands down will not buy it I don't care how much I want it I, I just thought to me that that scares me that's like lying by omission you know not that I'm perfect because you know <laughs> I'm definitely not that but that's just something that I challenge you all to do is take your time and look and see what's in these products. Decide what type of ingredients you can tolerate or willing to tolerate or willing to accept and just kind of go from there. Now, all of the makeup that I have for the most part of it, like I said, um, do offer some type of ingredients that will benefit your skin. And you'll also notice that during this makeup look, I really didn't go in heavy like I normally do. Um, this look that I have on now, uh, I really do feel as though I could actually go out in the public in daylight, in the sunlight, <laughs> and not actually like turn heads like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And even with the lashes, that the lashes aren't really that heavy. The wing may be a little heavy, but in this video, I tried to go really light. Um, as far as the highlight that I use, you definitely don't have to go this bright. When you pick your highlight, just go down one shade or you might not like a highlight at all, which means uh, you don't have to uh, buy a concealer for highlighting purposes. You could buy a concealer to uh, camouflage any type of dark spots, but as far as doing highlighting, you could definitely skip that. So now that I have all of that, said let's go ahead and begin with this look i'll have like a little side screen coming in while i actually talk about what i'm doing and the product that i'm using all right so right here i am using the physician's formula organic wear silk foundation and this particular foundation is ultra nourishing ultra fluid weightless it does have jojoba oil in it it's got organic aloe vera organic coconut oil and botanical cactus flower to lock in moisture all right so right off the bat i know you're like oh my god all those oils it's going to be super oily but it's actually not this would be a really great foundation for mature skin extra dry skin combo skin and if you do decide to get it um, when you apply it again you don't get a oily type of feel you get a more hydrating feel and all of those oils that are actually in this particular foundation are going to lock the moisture in place so that's something that you really need if you have mature skin and if you have dry skin and again 
if you have combo skin. I really feel that my skin leads uh, to be a normal mature skin and it really works for me. You don't need a lot guys. You don't need a lot of this. This is not one of those type of foundations where you're going to get full on coverage. This foundation is definitely not that. You just want to put on a thin layer of it just so you can get a very natural type of wash all over the skin and I actually think it's beautiful. If you find that you can't get your hands on that foundation, you all know that I love the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. This is it. I absolutely love it. Love it hands down and I see it a lot of places on the internet. I thought they were totally the seeing it so I'm really not sure initially they had so many colors of that but when I go to different websites they only have a handful of colors but I'll definitely put the links to both of these just in case you're interested all right so next up I have the Neutrogena healthy skin radiant cream concealer and this is with peptides plus a vitamin E blend this particular concealer pro provides a medium to full coverage I would say it's probably a medium um it it says that it is buildable, but I'm not too, to I'm not totally convinced at that. The first application, as you can see, I do apply a very thin layer of it in comparison to what I normally <laughs> apply in my uh, videos. And since I could see a lot of my darkness coming through, I applied an additional layer. And I use this concealer for highlighting purposes, and I highlighted my chin, my forehead, under my nose, things like that. Again, that's something that you definitely don't have to do if you don't like to go as bright as I went with your concealer you can go one shade I think this is like two or three shades <laughs> but you definitely don't have to do that but I really like this concealer and always remember if you're trying to minimize that look of those crow's feet and uh, wrinkles and things like that under your eye go with a finely milled blurring powder uh, that's the best thing that that you can do for under your eyes. All right, so now I'm going in with my powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and set the concealer that I put under my eyes, uh, under my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And as you can see, I bring it up a little bit over my eyes because I like for that to serve as a eyeshadow because I'm not gonna use eyeshadow in this particular look. It's just all facial products. The CoverGirl translucent powder, unfortunately, does not have any skin loving ingredients in it. I think it's like five or six dollars, but I elected to use this one because for it to be drugstore, it is finely milled. Um, it really does melt everything seamlessly. And you can also apply creams over it. Let's say you've set your face and you uh, get some of the powder down here and you have a cream product that you wanna use. That particular powder plays very well. You don't have to worry about it lifting in your foundation you don't have to worry about the concealer lifting or any issues so that's another reason why I really like that particular powder all right so now I'm going in with the elf cream contour palette and I checked on this one this one offers nothing <laughs> no type of skin loving ingredients but it is affordable super affordable and as you can see I'm just kind of bronzing on my forehead and just trying to bring a little bit more definition back into the look I think this works really well for the price. I think this is like $6 and I guess I really don't sweat. Uh, <laughs> should I even use that word? I guess I don't worry too much about it not having any type of good ingredients in it because, you know, I only use a little bit and that's just around the perimeter. But still, you know, Elf, if you're watching, add some something in your product that will help our skin in the long run. All right, so next up, I'm going to use my Revlon Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Loose Setting Powder. And I really love this powder because it's got anti-pollutant ingredients in it as well as antioxidants. And it blurs really well. This to me is such a beautiful powder. I also like the fact that it doesn't have fragrance, it doesn't have parabens, it doesn't have synthetic dyes or phthalates. I mean, to me, this is a dream powder for it to be drugstore. And it's definitely got to be one of my faves because it just checks all of my boxes and I think it's gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to set the e.l.f. cream concealer with the NYX 
Netflix matte bronzing powder. This one is vegan, I believe, but as far as any type of special ingredients, it doesn't have. I definitely like it. I have hit pan on this and I absolutely love it. I wish that something was added in it, but it's not. It does look pretty on the skin and I really do like the shade. I think the shade works really well for me. So I am going to go in with that bronzer and just apply that in my crease. And that's going to serve as my eyeshadow. If you're not big on eyeshadow palettes, no fret, you know, no problem. Just use your bronzer, <laughs> use your bronzer and your setting powder. And I even go back in and apply a little bit more of my CoverGirl translucent powder because it's coming off as a lighter shade. And I put a little bit of that on my lid and that's it. That's all I do. It's, it's super simple. All right, so I do go in with my Essence brow pencil and I just lightly fill in my brows. You all know that I can do the most with the eyebrows. I can do the most with everything everything <laughs> as you all already know by looking at older videos but this look is super soft we're just gonna fill them in a little bit bringing in a later clip because I forgot to show you all the brow obsessive gel that's what I use to keep my brows in place and I really like that too because it's super affordable as far as any special ingredients um, I didn't see any but I really love how well it works all right so right here I'm using my Milani cheek kiss blush and this particular blush actually has pomegranate rose extract watermelon plus antioxidants vitamins a c and e to hydrate and brighten and see that's what i'm talking about it doesn't take a lot to throw something in plus it still is affordable and i really do love that about this blush it's super pretty it goes on well over powders there's no fuss as you can see it didn't skip or pull up anything it's just really really pretty and as you can see to just kind of set the blush a little bit because it is very dewy. I just went over it just a little bit with the same brush that I used to set all over my face. All right, so next up, I'm I'm applying the LA Girl lipstick and this lipstick has vitamin E which is going to lock moisture in place and you are going to get full coverage from this particular lipstick. It is totally gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my NYX eyeliner and this eyeliner unfortunately doesn't have anything good in it but I actually do like the eyeliner. It is very pigmented. It lasts a long time. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful you have to have a steady hand because one false move and it, it could be everywhere but that's with anything so i'm going to go ahead and finish applying my liner then i'm going to come back with my lashes on all right and right here you can see me applying the makeup obsessions mega destiny highlighter and i just highlight a little bit on my nose on my cheek and my forehead just some places where i want a little extra glow and i think it's really really pretty I looked it up. I didn't see that it had any special ingredients in it, but I think that it looks really pretty on the skin and I'm using it only in a few spots. So, you know, I'm going to let that egregious offense <laughs> of it not having any skin loving ingredients um, pass. But yeah, totally, totally gorgeous. And if you know of a highlighter that's affordable, that has good ingredients in it, even if it's just one, could you please drop a comment down below let everybody know so we can definitely pick it up all right so right here you can see me applying my pyt beauty one and done vegan hydrating setting spray and this setting spray has hyaluronic acid it's got niacinamide lingonberry ylang lang oil lavender oil aloe leaf juice dandelion extract miracle extract and rosehip extract it's also sustainable the bottle and cap is recyclable and made with 30 percent recycled plastic it is 100 percent cruelty free hypoallergenic vegan silicone free and it doesn't have any harsh chemicals so i'm like okay what else can you ask for definitely definitely something that we all could use more of and as you can see after I sprayed it there is that dewy dewy beautiful look and that's the look you want when you're going out in public in the daytime you want that nice light 
dewy type of fresh look and I think that all of the makeup that I used you can achieve it and this is the final look so let me know guys down in the comments what you think about this look do you use any of these products are you one to actually look at the ingredients when you're out hunting for your makeup or could you care less let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches